So I'm here. Good morning. I'm here at Negotiation Yard in Indiana. I located my unit and uh, my load. Excuse. Me. Um, and I'm going to show you just a few things to to look out for and things like that. What to annotate. What to look for. Well, bugs. They rained over here. Mosquitoes. Um, look at the tires. Look at some other things around the unit. Usually. A lot of the stains is from like excessive caulking and sealing and, and things like that. Making sure your compartments are closed. Um, tire pressure is key. Lug nuts. Make sure everything is all torqued down. Um, one thing I love to look out for, or is I always look out for, especially if for DOT, try to look for you. Make sure every light is working on it, especially the license plate lights. Uh, make sure they're working as well. Make sure they light up and all that other good stuff. But um, we're going to go over some stuff. And then we're just going to go from there. I'm going to turn the camera around. Uh, and then we'll proceed forward. I'm really going to try not to make this video too long. I already looked at the paperwork. I already verified the VIN number for the unit. I don't go off the last six. Um... I just go off the whole VIN number. You get your you get your packet, pull it out, and I'll show you where to go from there. Let me turn the camera around. So once you get your packet, usually it'll say, you know, one five one two six eight five or something like that. I take out the paperwork, I'll make sure I take out the title, and I verify the whole entire number. Sometimes you'll see numbers here or on the other side, usually like the last six or something like that. You see right there, it says 512-685. It'll say right there on, on, the, um, on the frame. But this is a travel trailer. Obviously, it has no battery on it, but I have my, I have my battery inside of there. And I, before I even hook up to it, before I hook up to it, I look at everything because once you hook up to this thing, it is your responsibility. It is yours. 100%. So as you can see, I have not hooked up yet. Once I feel that everything is good on this load, then I will hook up the power to it to make sure all the lights is good. And then I would check the tires and I would do all that stuff. And then once I feel and once I see that everything is good to go, then I would load it up, but that's some time. Usually, I take like 10 15 minutes to make sure everything is all good to go. As you can see, this one's got some, this one's got some, uh, some lights on it. It's pretty cool. I think growth vehicle GVWR is just about 10,000 10, pounds. Okay, I got the keys, but I'm just verifying some things. See, this compartment is open, and you can kind of see right through it and things like that but um i am going to lock that up i like to touch the the running lights um if i see a window open i will go inside you see this stuff like this those are like see those little scuff marks i like to touch them um, because you may never know if it's a scratch or extra caulking. Usually it's a lot of excessive caulking. See how this window looks like it's open. Yeah. So I'm going to go inside. I'm going to lock that one up. See, I like to touch and pull on it. Things like this. That's just stains. Tires. I'm going to not only kick them, but I'm going to also look at them too. Make sure these caps are good to go see how this one's got wow jesus this one's got a lot of caulking on it it's sealed but whatever turn and pull some of this stuff is just made insane satellite cable and right here you notice that there was supposed to be a cap here that will lock into place to cover it now i am missing the cap from from what i see so i'm gonna add and take that Usually what I like to annotate to, right here, these bumper caps, they easily come on and easily come off. And then a lot of locations will say, I will write on the paperwork, uh, 
missing bumper caps. Check the bracket system. Check the tires. I'll ch I'll check the um the torque on that in a second. Over here looks good. Ah, oh, look at that. Didn't even know. I'm gonna lock that from the inside. See, that's a stain right there. Look like from bug or poop or something like that. Look underneath. Make sure, make sure everything is good to go. You can see all that wiring right there. But I'm not here to mess with wiring. Everything looks okay, but I know how to fix some things here. See all this extra caulking stuff? I'll just leave that be. Look at the side panels. I can't reach those windows from out here. So I am going to go inside. See, look, excessive caulking. Just look through it. I'm gonna go inside after I pull it out because obviously I can't open the door. And then I'm gonna close every window. See, there's, it looks like messed up stuff, but that looks like, I'm sorry, I'm trying to make it focus. There you go. Extra stain caulking right there. I'm assuming this is the, yeah, that's pretty cool. Yeah. This little extra spacing right here, but that looks fine. From what I can see, visually outside, you got some speakers, got some lights up there too. From what I can see, it looks pretty good. But um, I cannot go inside yet because I have to move the unit forward. But I am not going to hook up to it first. I'm not going to hook up to it until... I noticed that everything is fine. Oh, this one is locked. I'll get the key in a second. Make sure this compartment. See, this one's also open as well. You got some of the tools. Pretty cool stuff. But I'm gonna lock all that stuff up. You can extend and all that stuff. See the extra caulking. It looks like it's all chipping, but that's just extra caulking and need be and everything like that. Usually, like the propane and things like that is under here. And I always look at the unit, make sure it's got the breakaway cable. Nothing is flared, scratched, pulled, wire exposed. This this is pretty awesome. Looks pretty new. This one's brand new, actually. But uh, all right, um, everything looks okay so far. I am going to hook up. I'm just touching things like that. Make sure everything's good. So, find your unit. Inspect the heck out of the trailer. Take your time, you know. Take like 15 minutes. Once you look at it, you load the windows. Look at the windows. Look at the tops. Look for vents to see if they're open. Make sure they're they're actually closed. Um, once you find it, make sure it's all good to go. Then you do some minor paperwork or whatever paperwork you have to do. Uh, we have a sheet that um, that says, you know, have you torqued down your your, uh, your the, the lug nuts on the tires and tire pressure and things like that. So I got fuel. I got all my tools, fire extinguisher and all that stuff. I got the paperwork here. I'm going to start doing it. Um, well, this is an MPG ultralight travel trailer. The GVWR is about 10,000 pounds and it's going to hew it. Texas, which is pretty much Waco, about actually about 40 minutes north from where I live. My wife is going to meet me up over there. We'll probably have breakfast, lunch, or dinner, depending on traffic, depending on what time I, depending on really what time I get there as well. Well, this thing is ready to rock and roll. So, amen, man. I hope this is somewhat uh, beneficial to you. I don't have the capabilities yet of actually, um, I don't have the power or the tech to edit the videos and show you things like that. It's just um, I don't have that type of equipment yet. I, I think I could do it from my phone. I'm not too sure. Um, but, uh, yeah, make sure everything is good to go. It looks pretty fine. But I'm going to hook up the lights for it and then just go from there. But I hope this video was a little generalization of what to do when you look at your load 
wires, tires, lug nuts, windows that are open, compartments that are open, compartments that are unlocked. Check the door. Obviously, I cannot go inside because the um, the door is being blocked. Um, yeah, I think it's uh, I hope that you find this beneficial to you. Um, make sure you like, subscribe, share. If you need to leave a comment, go ahead. I'm pretty good about um, responding back at a timely manner. If I'm driving, yeah, I don't think I'll answer it, you know, but if I'm at a light or something like that and heavy traffic construction, I might look through my phone. I listen to a lot of Fox News and I keep myself entertained. That's one thing you got to learn how to do. Keep yourself entertained unless you have a uh, a passenger with you. Huh. Wow, I've rotated my tires. It looks pretty good. But all right, you guys be safe. Next time I'll do a walk around inside the actual unit. That way you know how to close lock uh and what to look out for as far as the interior goes all right so uh you guys be safe like and subscribe and share all right have a good one bye